Hello everyone, RetroPress here. The music in video games have always been an important part of the gaming experience, and really good music can even alter how you feel while playing a certain game. And that's why today we're going to take a look at the best of the best soundtracks that the Super Nintendo has to offer. Now, it's almost impossible to boil it down to just 10 songs, when the system itself is filled with an insane library of amazing games and fitting soundtracks. Some of the most well-known video game soundtracks you can find on this entertainment system alone, and that's why it's important to note that this is my subjective top 10 SNES soundtracks. Before we head into the list, let me just explain what I've been looking for when choosing these exact soundtracks. Since it's so difficult choosing some tracks to lift above all others, I've chosen the soundtracks that I truly feel makes an impact on the gaming experience itself. These might be songs that gives you motivation, that gets you hyped up for playing the game or a certain level, or they might just fit so perfectly to the game itself and are songs that you never get tired of hearing over and over again. So, without further delay, these are my top 10 SNES soundtracks. Let's go! Number 10 At number 10 we have Super Mario World, the 6th game in the Super Mario series, or 5 depending on if you really count Super Mario 2 or not. As with all Super Mario games, this game comes with an amazing library of music as well, and my favorite is the theme called Athletic. This upbeat music almost makes you want to speedrun the level as fast as possible, and actually creates a fun way of playing where you are going through the level as an absolute daredevil. When the melody kicks in as well, you instantly recognize that typical Super Mario tune, and even though it's not the same melody as any previous Super Mario games, it sounds so familiar you can swear it's just another rendition of another Super Mario game. Number 9 Number 9 on our list is from Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar is a game that involves a series of minigames, and one of them is called Gourmet Run, where you run against King Dedede. The music from the minigame has become one of the most recognized themes in video game history, and have now become the most well-known theme from Kirby as well. Whenever you hear this music, you instantly know which game character it's representing. This fast-paced music really makes your heart pump, which is really fitting, as you are racing against an opponent, which in most video games can be quite stressful. I love that the song is divided into two distinctive parts, both equally amazing. This music has then later showed up in the Super Smash franchise, which is really nice, as you honestly never get tired of this music. Number 8 Number 8 is Sewer Surfing from the legendary Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. This game has several good tracks, but the one above them all is this one from level 3 of this game. Once again, the upbeat music makes you instantly tap your foot while playing, and the music itself just has this familiar Turtles tune to it. I really like it, and that's why it deserves a spot on this list. Number 7 One of the most famous themes ever made. At number 7 we have the Hyrule Peel music from Zelda A Link to the Past. Luckily, when playing A Link to the Past, you will hear this music a lot, and it's just as beautiful every single time. The almost majestic, uplifting orchestral music is just simply a masterpiece. Once again, we are lucky that this theme has been adopted into the Super Smash universe as well, so you can hear it even more often. There isn't much else to say that this theme is, to this day, one of the best themes ever made across any platform. Number 6. Okay, <laughs> I'll admit, this one is a bit different as it doesn't really fit my criteria as stated at the beginning. This isn't a song from any level at all, but the menu music in Donkey Kong Country. 
This theme starts out so innocent and cute with its sweet melody for then to just instantly turn into the most funky music ever created in a video game. The funky beat is simply amazing and it fits so well with the tune as well. It's a daring move to make the menu music so damn good, because who would ever want to go past this menu and interrupt the music? Number 5. At place number 5, we have Big Blue from F-Zero. This game starts off with two absolute bangers, with Mute City and then Big Blue. Both of them could easily have been on this list, but I'd had to choose one, and I have to go with Big Blue. This fast-paced music with this amazing tune just fits the game perfectly, and up to the version of both Mute City and Big Blue is also to be found on F-Zero X on the Nintendo 64, one of my favorite games of all times and god damn they are so good. But as for the music that can come out of a Super Nintendo game, this is absolute peak music. Number 4. Talking about bangers, this theme from the Space Shooter Super R type is just so damn intense. Starting off with just this fast face beat, it gets you super hyped, and when playing this game, it feels even better, as things are blowing up around you while you are shooting in every direction. Then it introduced to you this short but amazing tune that gives you a little break from the intense beat before it goes back into getting you hyped up again. Amazing game amazing music. If you have never played it, you should, and that's why this team is at place number 4. Number 3. At number 3, we have the boss fight theme from Final Fantasy 3. I've always felt it's really important to have some really catchy, upbeat, intense themes for boss battles in games with turn-based combat. Themes like that actually gives you motivation and gives you focus of making the best choices in every turn you take. I would go as far as saying that in a turn-based combat battle, the theme is critical to how good you play it. We see many examples of amazing battle themes in turn-based combat games, like the Pokemon games and the Final Fantasy series, but out of all of them, this one is one of the best. Number 2. At place number 2, we have Super Castlevania 4 and the theme from stage 10, the Clock Tower also known as Bloody Tears. It starts off with this airy music, then all of a sudden you are being hit with nostalgia straight in the face with the same theme from Castlevania 2: Simon's Quest. This more upbeat rocking tune just fills you with so much joy and puts a smile on your face as you are getting close to the end in this all around amazing game. The Castlevania series is known for its amazing music and Simon Belmont's theme is right at the top for me, only beaten by one song from the original Castlevania, but that's for another time. Number 1. And at number 1, and by no surprise for many people, we have Star Fox and the insanely good theme called Corneria. What can you say about this tune that's not already been said? It is a banger. It is absolutely everything you would want from a theme in a video game. 
It gets you hyped. It makes you smile. It makes you banging your head up and down while stomping your foot and at the same time doing barrel rolls. It is the peak of what video game music can and should be. And that's why it gets the number one spot of the best soundtracks on the Super Nintendo. And yeah, there you have it, my top 10 soundtracks for the SNES. Do you agree with the list or which song should be on the list in your opinion? Feel free to comment below if you have any other songs that have given you a memorable experience with the Super Nintendo. And until next time, cheerio!